matchup have just had a really tough time with Amsa. Mm -hmm. Somebody who just hits so hard. Yeah, just off of every single interaction. Every single interaction, but it just feels yeah. like so complete in terms of the combo game in particular, right? Because we talked about how... On both ends. On both offense ends. and on, defense. On offense and defense, right? Okay, here we are, Grand Finals. Cody Schwab has to win two sets in order to take out Amsa here, sitting pretty in winner's side of Grand Finals. Amsa right there reading a short into the ledge. Mm -hmm. That's why he held on to the ledge for a little bit longer than normal. Right. Oh, sorry, Cody. Mm -hmm. Or no, Amsa. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> Amsa playing Yoshi at Golden Guardians. Ooh, baby. Ooh, okay, goes right into the second back air there. Yeah. Catches a double jump with back air. Back air is a crazy move from Yoshi. It's multi-hit, and it like even though it's got a lot of knockback, or not or not a lot of knockback, it's got a lot of hit stun. Right. So they kind of just hang out right there. So you can just do bare nair, and it just kills. Mm -hmm. I don't know how audible the, the crowd is right now. I don't know what the the, 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 oh, they're popping the up. crowd audio situation is with the mic, but there are BC chants right now from the Canadian crowd. Opsa said to the production, I want a Canadian flag for this top eight, not a Japanese flag. Isn't that crazy? Oh, I want to hold goodness. it down for the locals. Opsa re residing oh, in Vancouver right now. Newest resident of BC. Cody's got a Holding long flight home. Opsa's got an Uber ride. <laughs> Ooh. So far, looking so good for Amsa. Really good. Okay, miss that. Wow, a crazy turnaround. Let's not forget, Amsa did win the most recent iteration of the Big House. No, it's true. Amsa has been. Um, I mean, like if you haven't been following Super Smash Bros. Melee at the closest level, mm -hmm. Amsa, you know, someone who's been so close to the top for like a decade, right. is now a super major threat. No, it is absolutely no surprise that he's on the winner's side of this Grand Finals right now. Right. Poised to take the whole tournament. Definitely. Okay, goes right into down tilt here. And we were talking about just like discipline and game plan are the winning factors versus a character like Yoshi. I feel like Cody embodies both of those aspects of this game. Yeah, quite. Well. You gotta you gotta have a game plan number one and stick to it, and then stick to it, which is very tough. I think in the heat of the moment, Cody right now hitting a crucial tech on the uh, Yoshi forward tilt, not letting Ops to get his tech trap. Mm -hmm. I think that one of the first things like. You know, if you're like wondering, is this Fox player gonna beat Amsa in like a game one? Look for, are Ooh. they hitting their techs? Oh, that's super important, right? Because yeah. Amsa eats Miss Tech all the time. For breakfast, for breakfast. Bro. Jab reset into down smash, jab reset into up tilt. Into like five into up a, airs. Into another jab reset. Yes. Or even there, putting up the shield so you don't get hit by the side B. Mm -hmm. Amsa's got it all. Looking for the uh, the egg lay. Okay, Cody is gonna get the double. Uh, sorry, the the up air on Yoshi's double jump. Sixty-four percent, not not out of it for sure. But Amsa definitely with the percent lead in a matchup where I think percents matter a lot. Oh, definitely. Big up air or up special up airs here. Dead even. Uh -oh. Cody oh! keeping it going. Ninety-nine. Where did that damage come from? Yoshi off stage as well. Okay. What's the edge guard? What's the edge guard? Ledge? Amsa couldn't cover it. Mm -hmm. Laser land onto the left side platform. Back air will hit. Oh! Ooh. And oh, Cody the not getting the up smash! Right, yeah, the fast fall after the air dodge was brilliant from Amsa's end. Okay, jump there. Ah, this is a tough spot for no Yoshi, No double jump, though. no yeah. double jump. Side B, what's it gonna be? Oh! Oh, oh. oh and he uh, gets the stage spike, but Yoshi dies first! If Amsa was a hair higher, then Down B would have grabbed the ledge and Amsa would have won that game. That's actually such a brilliant option to threaten there because Yoshi has to basically air dodge in that position with no double jump, right? right. So the fact that he went for Down B, oh my goodness. So yeah, Amsa meant to do that a little bit higher right. because then you hit the fox and you grab, grab the, the ledge. ledge. Oh, so man. Amsa actually kind of messed that up. Yeah, that's why you see the sigh of relief from Cody Schwab there after game one. Yeah, that was that, uh, you know, to the to whatever deities, you know, are out there in the cosmos. Thanks. Because <laughs> I kind of didn't really... <laughs> that was all y'all. Like, that, I didn't yeah, do anything that's, there. That's when you know that you, the, the correct option was picked, but it didn't go your way. Right. Which is tough for Amsa, and I think a lot of competitors will crumble in spots like that. Amsa, not one of them. I don't think Amsa. Amsa, one of that's that's dirt off his shoulders. He's he's already forgotten about that. Definitely. Game one, what game one? Ooh, okay, and yeah. Further to your point, Amsa playing like he's shaking that off completely. Ooh. Ooh. That's a tough spot to be, right? Because when you're in shield, 
on the bottom part with no platform. You don't have the ability to, like, shield drop or things of that nature. So you're kind of stuck in shield, and Cody can kind of keep the yeah. pressure going, right? So what a lot of foxes do, and you're not supposed to do this to every, you know, top 100 fox that's fighting on a lot of foxes will try to hit Yoshi's shield there. They'll do up airs and back airs. Right. Don't. You don't. Th that doesn't do anything. You can't shield poke Yoshi. Mm -hmm. What you do is what Cody did. You do. You threaten aerials, but you empty land a bunch, and you just wear down the shield. You know, via time. Right. Or you try to like read a roll or something of like that. Yeah. To that or effect, or right? read the spot dodge. So you or saw Cody dodge, just right. jumping, empty landing on the platform, empty landing below the platform. That's what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Bonus points if you're also holding C stick down, because then if Yoshi, uh, if Amsa does go for a shield drop near, you'll CC it, and then you can shine up right. tilt, up smash. Right. But I don't know if anyone's on that level yet. Whoa, crazy Phantom right there. Gets the second back air. Oh, there's that PC walk off we were talking about earlier. That was so nice to break the double jump armor with the forward smash. Yep. And then knowing, hey, I can just up smash here now. You're at the right percent. Cody really just showing us the the, the, the game plan right now. I yeah. mean, Cody is one step ahead right now. Amsa, I mean, keeping it close, but got to finish his food. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just like the way that Cody is playing, going from the left side to the right side, right? It feels like Amsa is having a hard time, like, kind of tracking him as he's traversing the stage. That's right. You know, the last time I remember this exact situation, double down. I think it was Cody coming from losers. Amsa poised in brands, and mm. Cody did take two sets. Right. Oh, what an egg! D Down smash. That was so nice, because you're holding the ledge, so you're covering the ledge, right? So that egg kind of keeps the pla the stage safe as well. And because the egg kind of pops you up, you can still combo no, off of it. Oh, that's just it. Wow. wow. No, you're... Yeah, uh, let's... People, it's absolutely the Everyone case. in this like, level of gameplay, have, like, plan A and plan B. So, like, even if you don't get the edge guard, you're still putting out that egg right. for if they get back onto stage. Right. Yeah. The backup plans are there for everyone. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's the kind of thing where I think a lot of, like, you know, especially up and coming or, like, you know, seasoned melee players, when they're playing at their best, when they're hitting the reads, they look good, right? Right. It's easy, and I think that's the beauty of melee and why I think so many people are, you know, addicted to this game. <laughs> it's easy to look good and feel like you're just on top of the world. Mm -hmm. But when things aren't going your way, that's what sets apart the good from the great. Dude, just... It feels like whenever each of these players get a hit, it's just over. They just get the stock. How are yeah, these players so clean? In a weird way. In a weird way. How okay. are these just so clean? Huge knockdown there. Okay, jab reset at Cody. SDIing it up, and right. then Amsa ready for that with the up air. Does right. the up air to timing that covers SDI and no SDI. Right. That up air was brilliant. Ooh, okay. Canada's behind their boy. The Amsa chants are coming out. That's right. Um, Great. perennially a crowd, crowd favorite. And you know, FD, this has been a counter pick. You know, for those kind of wondering, um, at the start of Amsa's competitive career, professional career, FD was like the counter pick against Amsa. The, I mean, I remember Leffen tweeting about it. Like, this Amsa guy, a little bit too one dimensional, needs platforms, doesn't have a neutral game outside of platforms, right? Like, Amsa needed platforms for his neutral, needed platforms for his punish, and every Fox was taking FD with great effect. Towards recent years, I would say Amsa is somebody who he will take top Foxes here. Yeah, Cody see, right there. Yeah, again. we see Amsa counterpicking this stage quite a bit in recent That's history. right. That's right. Against players like Moki, Cody, oh. and the great edge shot there. Clean two stock on Final Destination. Yeah, just Amsa reinventing his own character, turning his bad stage, turning a weakness into a strength. How insane is that, right? That's right. Taking your own counterpick and using it against the opponent? Right. Insane. Okay, we got Stadium here for game four. Not the trade you want. You don't want to trade forward air with up smash. Waiting for the shield drop. Those up tilts were basically waiting for Yoshi to shield drop off the platform. Right, right. If you shield drop, there's an up tilt waiting for you. If not, no harm, no foul. <laughs> Great tech there also on the uh, up air that Yoshi did. Because as we mentioned before, if you miss a tech on Yoshi, that jab reset is coming out, that up air is coming out, that up tilt is coming out, and potentially the stock. So. You're getting taken for a ride. Mm -hmm. Got to hit those techs. Also, oh! Oh, the double snipe! Cody takes the egg! Yeah. And what? Yeah, it, uh, incredible defense from Cody. And still is probably going to lose the stock for it. Maybe not, though. Hang on. 
Yeah, Alpsa yeah. gets it. What a nair. Spacing around the up B and then weaves back in with the that, double jump nair. That was also a super good back air, right? Because it kind of forced Cody to like drift back away or like angle outside of the back air hitbox. And then go back into another up B. Exactly, exactly. Where Omsa was able to just weave in, come mm -hmm. back in with the nair. Mm -hmm. Gave Omsa a lot more time. CC down tilt right there from Cody. Oh, Wamsi using the platform to kind of mix his pressure timing uh -oh, up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is pretty big right now, but Cody hits every tech. Yeah, those are not the techs that people hit. And Omsa and on the missing flip side. a tech now. Right. Yeah, the At flip that, side. On that particular percent as well. Crucial. Crucial. Ooh, okay. Ouch. Tries to go for drill into up tilt, realizing that the shine is not going to hit. But the up tilt doesn't hit either. Wow. Yeah, there right now, Amsa trying to occupy the ledge. Cody with a brilliant angle again, back throwing Amsa and just, just lasering. I don't even need to come off this. I'm just going to throw you over there and shoot my laser. I think the mentality there is that, you know, you're at a percent to where if I even hit you with an aerial, you're just going to double jump armor it. So I don't want to deal with that trade. Right. I'd rather just keep center stage and position and then just beat you outright that fashion rather than just like getting the extra aerial off the off the grab you know cody right now with a fat lead right okay good catch from Opsa. okay are we gonna get a reset here toe cody's not out of the woods yet though no definitely not oh oh god oh god shining at shining on out of shield oh no knocked i think Opsa thought he had a knockdown yeah oh that was a great that was a crazy operator to catch cody in the air okay the tech chase? Oh. oh, the weight. I love the weight there. Just letting the shield dwindle just a hair before continuing the sequence. That's right. Dash tag right now. Cody goes to ledge. Ledge dash up till. I'm so not ready for that. Jumps over the egg. Oh, yeah. You're going to get nared for sure. Dash tag. Dash tag. Okay. This is very doable for Obstatope. We've seen the explosive combos come out time and time again. That's right. What's going to happen right now? Okay. You got to make Cody uh -oh. work. Oh, big knockdown. Goes for a grab. Oh, oh. Gets the slide off, but goes right into air dodge on accident, I would imagine. Yeah, but Amsa kind of overcomplicated that as well. Right. Hang on a minute. Okay, gets the throw. Doesn't get the, the slide off that oh, time. Oh, and Cody just throws out the up smash, reading Amsa's crazy wave line out of the platform. Right. I think Cody realized, like, hey, I can do this tech in the up smash before Amsa can even do, like, a wave land and get there in time to even continue a tech chase, right. right? I mean, I think a lot of the time against even, like, lesser foxes, like, bro, against me, if I'm just me at a knockdown on the platform, he doesn't even wave line up there. He literally sits under the platform and just looks for an up air. Right. And a smash is never going to hit. But the crazy thing is, like, against Cody, he's got to take it to the next level because, like, you, what if 